guys! I'm Jenna and I write science fiction and fantasy novels that will probably ruin your life. I also make other two videos here all about writing. And today's video topic was requested by Aaron Reagan, so go check them out down below. If you guys would like to make any suggestions for videos in the future, you can leave them down below and I will always remember to shout you guys out. And today's video is how to defeat writer's block, and today I'm focusing specifically on the writer's block that you get when you get stuck on a story. But if you guys haven't yet, be sure to check out the videos I'm gonna leave in the description and in the card up above, which is all about how to fall back in love with your writing. Because if that's the writer's block that you're dealing with where you feel like you don't love your story anymore, that's the video you need to watch. This is if you still love your story, but you cannot just get the words out. Because yes, there are different types of writer's block and they sort of don't exist and it's a whole discussion. But for today, when you get stuck on a story, that's what we're talking about. And my number one tip is that people don't wanna tell you this, but you're going to fall out of flow with your story just as you would with anybody's story. If you are reading a series and you haven't read any of the books in the series in a long time, you're gonna fall out of flow with it, forget things that happen, you're not gonna enjoy it as much as if you went back and reread the entire thing. So in your books as well, you're gonna fall out of flow and out of, don't feel as connected to your story at times, especially if you're not working at it regularly. And then if you are working at it regularly, it might be you're working on it too much. There's a nice middle ground where if you work on it too much, you might fall out of flow because you've reread the book a million times. Or if you are just starting and you're taking long periods of breaks, that could also disconnect you from your story. And these are the types of things that lead you to getting stuck. So sort of tip two-ish, I'm not gonna really number these, um, is that if you've been working on your story non-stop, please take a break for your your health <laughs> and your mental health and well-being, um, and also to help the story along, do take a break. Um, your story and your mind and your creativity will thank you for a nice break. Because if you have read a book a million times, even if it's your own book, you're going to get tired of it. If it's somebody else's book, you're gonna get tired of it. People have a thing where they do like a yearly read through of their favorite book and they can only handle doing it most likely about once a year because if you start reading books the same book more than once a year um, it gets redundant <laughs> and it's your book so you can change it so it is a little bit different but at some point you just need to take a break and also it's okay to take a break and it's okay to feel disconnected from your story and it's okay to fall out of flow because you are still loving your story, it's just you don't wanna work on it right now. Um, and if you're feeling like, again, you don't love your story, how to fall back in love with your story, video is right up there. Next sort of tip is that if you have been working on your book, but you've been taking large breaks in between working on your book, maybe shorten down those breaks or try to get more regular with your book. Because if you're having to go back in and reread large chunks to understand what was happening in your book every single time you work on your book because it's been like two weeks a month um, or more since you worked on it every time you work on it then you might want to try and shorten that time up i know it's not possible for everybody to regularly work on their story shit and life gets in the way um, but even if you're just looking at opening up the document and reading what you last wrote occasionally like in between writing sessions even that can remind you of like, oh yeah, this is why I enjoy this story, this is why I'm connected to it, this is where I left off, and continuing to daydream about the story and your next scene that you're writing can be really helpful as well. This is the one of the ways where when I was a pantser, I would sort of know what was coming up next is because I would imagine what was happening next in like a movie in my head. So I'd be like, okay, I just had a battle scene, I'm gonna have them recovering from the battle afterwards and I would imagine what that looked like. And that's how I would continue on the story. Now that I am a hardcore plotter, I literally have an entire like Word document and if I'm working on chapter five, then I can look while I'm writing chapter five what I'm supposed to be leaning into in chapter six and I can daydream about it. So when I feel disconnected from the exact chapter that I am writing, I can push through because I know I'm excited for the next chapter. And I have something to work towards too because if you just do something vague like this chapter is a battle, have nothing else decided and you know the next chapter you're supposed to have a love scene okay how do you get from point a to point b start imagining that building it up in your head get excited about it fall in love with it and then start writing it and you'll feel more connected to it my next tip is to go back and read what you have so far a lot of people are like don't edit as you go i am the believer of i will do whatever the fuck i want because it works for me <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to ed go back and edit what you had of the story already, and you don't have to read all of it either. You could just pick out something you're excited for. Like, you know, I'm on chapter seven, I wrote something in chapter five that I absolutely loved. You can go back and read that, and 
there is nothing more motivating or nothing that connects you better to your story than being surprised by yourself and realizing how good you are and how good that scene is and how much you love it. Being surprised at your ability is one of the best motivators and the best like hype men is yourself and your own ability and the things you've already accomplished, which makes you want to accomplish more. And then next, hype yourself up. <laughs> it could be from reading what you previously wrote, it could be from creating an aesthetic board, it could be from making a playlist, it could be just by surrounding yourself with all of those things. But find things that hype you up for your story and make you think about it. Because if you're thinking about your story all day long, you cannot wait to write it and get back in that world and get connected to that world. And that can kind of jumpstart your creativity versus getting stuck in a block. And that's the thing, is that it's completely normal to fall out of flow with your story or even to fall out of your love for with your story for a short period of time. But it's your story and it chose you for a reason and you can either decide to shelve a project, which you need to learn is completely fine. It is okay to shelve something and you can always return to it again later. You are not forever having this book on a shelf that you cannot reach. You can always go back to it whenever you like. So you can shelve a story, you can work on it, in different times. You can work in multiple stories at a time. Just learning that there are no really any rules you need to follow. You can always break the rules can free you up a lot because if you're always worried about oh I have to cater it towards an agent and what they're gonna like or if I have to cater it towards what this beta reader said or my CP said, make the story for you because if you focus so much on what other people want from your story versus what you want like the story you want to tell you're never going to be happy or satisfied with it and trust me this is a lesson i've learned the hard way <laughs> but yeah so those are my main tips on how to connect back with your story to beat writer's block these are the things that work for me and i think i have some other videos all about defeating writer's block that i can link down below as well and also they'll be in the cards but if you like this video do give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below how do you defeat writer's block and if any of these tips help to you. But that's it for me, so remember to subscribe because I make writing karma related videos every Friday. Catch you guys next time, so bye!